somewhere on that, count the videos on my channel, you'll see there's a playlist actually for 24 days of life insurance, mortgage and final expense. You'll find that and you'll see all the videos we've done so far. We are shooting for one video every single day, 24 days, Monday through Friday. And so far, we're on track. So today's video, I want to discuss something that's been on my mind a lot lately because I get this from a lot of people that call me, want to join our agency, or inquiring about the industry. Hey Steve, is there a need for the product that we sell? Mortgage protection, final expense, life insurance. Is there a need? Do people really want what we're offering? And here's the thing. That's an amazing question to get after you get your license because you should have already decided that before you got in, right? Uh, and you should have already done your research. And so I'm going to try to help you a little bit here. Solve that puzzle. Because I believe until you deal with that one subject, you'll never take any serious action, any real action in pursuit of success here. Because I have a core belief. And that is, unless you believe if you do X, you'll get Y, you're never going to take any action. And if you take any action, you'll take very little action. But that's another video entirely. And so that question that you have to answer is, does anyone want mortgage session, final expense, life insurance, or are you wasting your time? Look, many times over our career, we may want to revisit that question. You're going to run into sales slumps or run into a bunch of ignorant people who don't see value in what you're offering. And yes, I said ignorant because most people want to make sure that the spouses or family they leave, they leave behind, they want to provide more rather than less financial security for their families when they pass. That's why I got in the business. My dad passed away age 47, had a work policy only for 10,000 bucks. It didn't even pay to put him in the ground. And my mother struggled for the majority of her life financially till I took over and some of the other kids took over some of her expenses to make her life a little bit easier. And all of that, no disrespect to my father, but all of that could have been solved with a $50 decision. I've never met in my life a widow who didn't need more money or couldn't use more money. So there's always room to make someone or some people's lives better. And usually better for most people means what? More money in the bank, more financial security. And let's face it, life is not really fun when you're always struggling to provide basic necessities for your family and working paycheck to paycheck, right? So let's take a look at some of these numbers. Let's jump right into it and see what the numbers look like in our industry. I believe these facts of our own industry may surprise some of you. For the third consecutive year, total United States life insurance new annualized premium set a new sales record in 2023. New annualized premium increased to $15.7 billion. Folks, that's a humongous market. Now, according to Lemra, U.S. Life Insurance Sales Survey, which represents 85% of the market, the estimated life insurance need in the United States is nearly $16 trillion. The U.S. life and annuity market exceeded $900 billion in 2015. 40% of Americans have no life insurance, and over 128 million people are in need. 44% of life insurance currently owned is in employer plans, which means, if you've done any studying or you've been in this industry for any length of time, you know that, that means they do not own the coverage that they have. Besides the low limits, no job, no coverage. What did COVID teach us? That there is no security, not in your job and not owning your own business because the government can come in and tell you to shut it down immediately. So you need to own your own life insurance coverage or you could you put yourself at great risk or your family at great risk for coverage that you don't own and you don't control. 70% of U.S. households say they would have trouble with everyday expenses in their primary wage earner if the primary wage earner were to pass away. 50% of those interviewed said they would rather work with a person than purchase insurance off the internet. Watch a future video, they're out to destroy us. So let's take a look at some of the reasons why people may want to buy life insurance or want to own life insurance. 84% of people surveyed said they wanted to use it to pay for burial costs and final expenses. 66% said they want to transfer wealth from generation to generation. 
62% of those surveyed said that they want to replace lost wages or income. 57% said they want to supplement retirement income. And 50%, half of those surveyed, said what? Mortgage section, life insurance salespeople. They wanted to use it to pay off the mortgage. More U.S. households than ever in history plan to purchase life insurance. So that begs the question, is how fast you can get enrolled in my free pre-licensing course. Take your state exam, get your licensing, get out there and help us get going. An 80% increase from 2010. Over half, 51% of all households say they would rely on life insurance to help pay bills and to maintain their lifestyle in the event of a primary wage earner's debt. Life insurance tops all other sources of financial assets for households earning under $50,000 annually. And almost half of all U.S. households have a life insurance gap. The total market need, as I said earlier, is approaching $16 trillion. That market will grow approximately 2.8% annually going forward. This means that there's an additional $340 billion dollars of new life insurance needed each year. An additional 340 billion dollars of new life insurance is needed each year. So in closing, take a look at this graph. Every 40 seconds someone has a heart attack. And if you look at that graph, long-term care costs are skyrocketing. Many with no coverage. Every 30 seconds, one in two, one in two. That's an amazing stat are diagnosed with cancer. There's 129 million households in the United States. Seven out of 10 households rely on two incomes. 53% of foreclosures are caused by debt or disability. And 25% of Americans have nothing saved for retirement. The average funeral costs 8,000 bucks. 25% of married couples and 56% of singles rely on Social Security for 92% or more of their income. Post-COVID-19 pandemic applications for life insurance is up nearly 8% year over year among people under age 44. The millennials are starting to get it and they're scared to death of loss of income. So what is our market with a life-only license? Well, the first one is, uh, is obvious, mortgage section. Then you have term, universal, and whole life products, and final expense, and accidental debt. Now, if you have a health license, you can talk to you about disability, critical illness. You can talk to them about Medicare subs, long-term care, and dental. And if you want to dive into the area of wealth building with a life license, you can also talk to them about annuities. you got debt-free for life programs. And then you have IULs, Index Universal Life Policies, which is a great product for supplementing retirement. Then you've got mortgage payoff acceleration, which is a huge topic that people want to discuss today, which is how to save that interest on a 30-year mortgage. So again, the question was, are people buying and wanting what you offer? I think based on these numbers, there is no question that the answer is a resounding yes. Hey, listen, I appreciate you watching. Grateful for your time that you invested in watching this video. Do me a favor, share these things out. If you get some value out, I'm sure somebody else will too. Share them. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Any engagement works. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you and see if we're on the right track. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.